<laughs> Hi, I'm uh, uh, Joe Benziger, and uh, welcome to the Imagery Newsletter. This is a recap of the 2010 harvest for our Imagery Wines, and I'm here with uh, Mark Birmingham. I'm still Mark Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just to pick up where we left off, uh, last uh, time we got together, we were in the vineyard, and I believe we we're doing some very detailed thinning of the thinning of the fruit based on the year we we're having. So it, at that point in time, we were having a really cool summer. We would had late rains. Uh, the, the ripening of the vineyard had been delayed by about three weeks. So uh, after that, we actually got hit with some heat spells. So Mother Nature threw us another curve. We actually had two heat spells um, that caused some burning of the fruit. And again, another reason for us to thin the fruit, uh, which for this year turned out to be a very good idea. Some earlier ripening uh, reds like uh, Sandovese, Barbera, Zinfandel, those are thinner skinned, bigger berries and they ripen sooner so really didn't affect them much after we dropped the fruit as far as uh, the ripening curve. On some of our later varietals like the Palace Cab, um, the, the Palace uh, State Red, those vineyards are actually earlier ripening for Bordeaux varietals and they didn't get affected by the rains at all. Mother Nature was definitely not kind to us this year um, but you know having a lot of years experience in working with these growers was a real advantage this year. So we knew when to take the fruit off when we had to. We probably made in most vineyards four thinning passes. As a matter of fact, our harvest shirt for this year is a pair of clippers, thinning shears. That, that, I mean, that, that was really indicative of the year. We had, had to do that many thinning passes. So I'm real happy with what we got in. The quality of the fruit we got in was very good. Our vineyards did experience lower yields. Um, but we were able to make that sacrifice for the quality of what we're getting in, uh, which is, is outstanding. The, uh, right now we're a, a week before Thanksgiving, and uh, all the wines are in barrels, and right now we're in the process of evaluating the wines. And what we're finding is, I think this vintage, we're gonna have softer wines that are more elegant, that have a little less alcohol, but they are packed with flavor. They're gonna be really interesting wines, and I think they're gonna be wines that you're not gonna to wanna to sell her for a long time. They're really approachable, really gonna be drinkable wines. Uh, so I think a vintage like this is, is really gonna be uh, outstanding for imagery. I agree, Joe. <laughs>